Welcome back to the channel. Today I am continuing on with the top 5 series. So with these series I am picking my top 5 exercises for each muscle group. For this video I am picking my top 5 exercises for the biceps. Towards the end of the video make sure to comment down below which are your favorite bicep exercises. So let's get into the top 5 exercises for the biceps. Starting off with exercise number 1 which is pretty straightforward dumbbell bicep curls. The classic bicep exercise, everyone has done them. It's a great exercise for the biceps. Especially if you do it the proper way, really focus on the contraction and the supination of your uh, wrist towards the end of the exercise. This exercise has to be the, one of the best exercises for the biceps. It's all that you need. Another thing I like to do, instead of supinating the dumbbell, I like to keep my arm already like in that position where it's like supinated. So, so my palm is facing straight. So I just do regular curls without starting off with, you know, the hammer curl and then you supinate it towards the end. I like to switch it here and there. Make sure to try both, see which one is better for you. Most of the time doing your bicep curls with that supination is the best way to target your biceps. So yeah, this is pretty straightforward. Nothing crazy to talk about. It's your regular dumbbell bicep curls. Moving on to exercise number two, which is the hammer curl either dumbbells or cables, uh, either way works. I prefer cables for hammer curls, mainly because when I do the hammer curls with the cables, I like to do it with my arm a bit behind me, so there's a bit more of a stretch when I do the hammer curls, and then I get that proper squeeze. And also, one of the reasons why I like to do cables, there's constant tension on my biceps, forearms, because obviously when you do your hammer curls, you're targeting also your forearms a bit. And hammer curls, lately I've been doing them pretty much every time I hit biceps, mainly because I want to get that thickness on my biceps. And if you do want that, hammer curls are the best exercise for that. And also with hammer curls, you're targeting that brachialis, which is the muscle in between your biceps and your triceps. That also gives that thickness of your arm. But yes, you can use dumbbells, cables. I do both, but I prefer cables over the dumbbells whenever I do hammer curls. And with the hammer curls, you can also use a rope. With the rope, you're mainly targeting your brach brachialis since you're doing it more of a narrow grip. But when I do it, I do single-handed and then the arm is again behind the back for that stretch. Moving on to exercise three, which is the preacher curl. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically when you have that padding, that pad type thing, don't know what to call it. And you put your arm on top of it and you do your curl. But the great thing about with the preacher curl is you're removing any type of excess movement so you can't cheat the weight in any way. It's a great isolation exercise for your biceps. And with the preacher curl, if you don't have that so-called machine or pad that's made for the preacher curl, you can also use a bench. You just make sure to set up an incline and then you just, you just place your arm there and you do your curls. But one thing to keep in mind when you're doing preacher curls, don't fully, fully extend your arm because I have seen a lot of videos where people tear their biceps, which is not a great thing to happen. So yeah, you should always make sure you keep it, you're using a weight that you can handle. You don't want to go too heavy on this because you can risk hurting your bicep. Um, with the preach curls, my whole focus is time under tension. So keeping the reps very slow. That's when you get the full benefit of doing a preach curl. So time under tension, keeping the reps very slow, making sure to really isolate those biceps. And with the preach curl, I prefer using dumbbells. You can also use an easy bar, barbells, whatever works best for you. But again, I prefer dumbbells mainly to target, so that I target my arms evenly and avoid any type of imbalances in my biceps. And if you do have imbalances in your biceps, I highly suggest you using dumbbells since each arm is getting the same amount of tension. Moving on to exercise number four, which is the incline dumbbell curl. So this is pretty straightforward. You put the bench on an incline and then you let your arms hang on your side. So basically what this helps with is that stretch on your biceps and then you get that peak contraction towards the end of the exercise. With this exercise, you mainly focus on the long head of the bicep. So basically this exercise helps with you getting a higher peak on your bicep. And the long head is the head that makes your bicep appear a bit higher. So there's a higher peak on your bicep. And one thing to keep in mind with incline dumbbell curls is to not put the bench too low. Sometimes I see people doing it way too low so they put it at like a 45 degree angle. And that is kind of uncomfortable for your shoulder most of the time when your arm is all the way back here. 
you don't really need that mu that low of an incline. You can put it higher. It's more comfortable for your shoulder and your bicep really doesn't need that much of a stretch. A slight stretch is enough. The incline dumbbell curl, another great exercise for the long head of your bicep. Moving on to exercise number five, which are drag curls. Lately, I've been incorporating drag curls way uh, more often into my workouts, for, into my bicep workouts. It's a great exercise. It, it basically feels like a compound movement for your biceps. You can use dumbbells, you can use barbells. I like to use um, the Smith machine for drag curls or cables. The reason why I like to use Smith machine is because I don't really need to focus too much on the movement. My whole focus is on just dragging my biceps, dragging my arms up. So I don't really need to try balancing the weight too much. Same with the cable drag curls. There's constant tension because it is a cable. And again, you can do a single arm or barbell. I prefer barbell for this exercise. One thing I love about the drag curls is I get a completely different feel compared to other bicep exercises. With the drag curls, I feel like every fiber of my biceps are working. So if, you're, if your biceps have gotten too used to other bicep exercises, I highly, highly suggest drag curls. And with the drag curls, if you've never done them before, I would suggest starting off light, even though you might feel like you can go heavy, starting off light so that you get that proper contraction and that mind-muscle connection with, the exercise, with your biceps. If you've never done them before, trust me, this is a great exercise to incorporate in the days that you train your biceps. As bonus exercises, I wanted to add in here spider curls and chin-ups. I also like to do these exercises. With the chin-ups, it's basically a compound lift for your biceps. All the other exercises are pretty much isolation exercises for your biceps, but chin-ups are basically a compound movement. So you, again, it's basically like drag curls. You get a completely different feel. The pump is amazing. And uh, chin-ups truly make your biceps look bigger. You can look at gymnasts. They have crazy arms because of chin-ups. Secondly, spider curls. Easy one of the best exercises to get that squeeze. So going light on this exercise is the best thing you can do. Time under tension, getting that perfect squeeze. This will blow your arms up. That was my top five exercises for the biceps plus two bonus exercises. That was a short, sweet video for the biceps. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and again, comment down below which are your favorite bicep exercises. Thank you for watching. See you a lot next time.